Thanks so much for joining us. How are you? Doing great. How about yourself? I'm having fun. It's DevNet Day, so special. And I see you have a special shirt on. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, yeah. So, um, and again, thanks for uh, thanks for having me here. So these uh, these shirts that we made uh, is really around you know this kind of idea of, about not being a cone. So it's really all about a passion for learning, about sort of the evolution and, and skill sets, and 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 really embracing programmability, automation, thinking about different ways to solve problems from from that type of mindset. I know that the number one thing you want to do is help customers. So. If we're speak, talking about reskilling and not being stuck in your ways, trying new things, let us know how customers are you know, reaching out to you when it comes to programmability and automation. We get a lot of ask on like, hey, how do I help uh, create self-service and provide a better IT service to my customers? How do I help better serve ourselves as a team? Um, you know, we, we have a term called like, let's, let, you know, down with toil, right? So how do we make... Uh, work fun and exciting again by giving, uh, you know, creating buttons to push that allow us to do our job more easily and effectively and helping our customers really do the same. So it sounds like your software practice is already helping customers, which is awesome. Now, with the DevNet partner specialization, DevNet specialization for partners, how can you help customers even more? Yeah, I, the the DevNet partner specialization is perfect for one for us to have somewhat of a guiding light to help continually evolve. Right, it's it, no matter how uh, good or whatever level you think you're at, you can always look back and improve it. So this helps us sort of uh, align a lot of our efforts around programmability, around automation, around software, and kind of really put it to practice. So it's really going to allow us to really. Um, focus in on some core areas immediately. And I know for us, we're really excited on some of the enterprise networking and, and the data center networking is really going to be a big focus for us and our customers here going forward. So there's some immediate opportunity to really help do a lot of cool, interesting labs and, and some of the trainings and enablement things that we've done for ourselves through the program and really help our customers take those concepts and apply it to their business to help them move forward. And then candidly, having the certification really allows us to show um, back to our uh, customers as well as the broader community, like, hey, we, uh, we have the capability to help you uh, transform where you want to go. How many folks from your company got the DevNet certification and got into the DevNet 500? Yeah, no, I, I would say that the first round of when we went through the, the certification for the DevNet 500, we had... Uh, nine individuals on the team uh, go ahead and pass that. So we were super excited to be able to have that opportunity to be a part of it. Um, and it's really caught on like wildfire. We, we've shown this to customers. We've brought in other uh, various uh, teams. We've had sales internally involved. We've had uh, um, professional services. Uh, we've had, you know, the engineering teams, internal IT. Really everybody has just been wanting to be a part of um, this really kind of movement that we've been driving. So we've been uh, very fortunate to have nine out of nine pass the first round of it. And now we have a good amount of the professional certifications as well um, knocked out. So, so super excited to be able to, to evangelize that. So you have been really organized from the very beginning. You knew you were going for these certifications before they went live. What advice would you have for other companies that want to get organized and, and you know, be successful as well. Um, I think the best thing, obviously, is is really look to the DevNet community. Um, if you look at, you know, the obviously the DevNet site and, and the platform there, there's a lot of great resources. But really, the 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 passion that the broader community, the user base has, uh, is probably the most exciting thing. You know, as you're leveraging these things, it's really important to have. Uh, an environment to really learn in. So highly encourage people to, you know, leverage those sandboxes, leverage those labs, because, you know, absolutely understanding the concepts is, is, is very important and key. Taking sort of a real world hands-on keyboard type experience is really gonna make um, up-level your skills, not only for the certification, but uh, for you to be able to apply that, um, you know, in your sort of day-to-day -day, uh, uh, work environment as well. A big area of success that we're already seeing is within our um, uh, is within our professional services organization. So if you look at us as almost kind of our own customer, 
we're leveraging uh, sort of the, the, the programmability and automation concepts we're learning to be able to deploy our customers' infrastructure even faster. Then the idea is to take it a step further and show our customers and say, hey, I'm going to show you how to deploy an ACI fabric uh, via automation, or I'm going to show you how to um, leverage programmability and APIs to upgrade, you know, your switching environment. So that way it's not just one at a time and you pull out Notepad and you paste it in. Everybody's done that, but we can help encourage them by showing them how sort of we're evolving as, a, as an organization to do our job better and helping customers say, hey, you can solve a lot of these problems, these sort of mundane type tasks by leveraging the skills you're learning in, in the DevNet uh, certification program to solve real world problems. Um, and I would say one of the biggest areas that's bubbling up is I, I, I want better control over my uh, infrastructure um, from a higher level. And through automation, through APIs, through leveraging more software, you don't have to individually manage uh, specific environments and things. So you have much better control, much better security, and it's much more efficient um, to be able to, to, to run with that. And the joke I always make is your goal, if you're in IT during a change window, is you should push a button, make your changes, and then sit there and watch Netflix while you're waiting for the teams to test and validate. So if you can accomplish that through automation, then you've done your job really well. So that's a very clear goal. I like that. Um, what are your immediate goals for how the DevNet specialization for partners could help you do even more of that? Yeah, so one, it's really going to allow us to, um, again, kind of do more with less. So instead of having to be on site, instead of having to help our customers with specific point solutions and products, we can actually help our customers um, do better integration across uh, multiple areas. So if I have, you know, a collaboration team and a data center team and, and more of a, a WAN type uh, management team, we can better provide means to help them uh, leverage their day-to-day -day operations and help make, um, you know, moving through their environment. So many of our customers, and, and I've, I've been, I was in IT for a long time, have sort of really great projects, but they're, they're caught up in the day-to-day -day firefighting of, I have an outage here, I have another, I got 50 tickets coming in that I have to deal with and I'm not able to sort of spend time on those, uh, you know, strategic initiatives that you're looking at. What we're seeing is you not only gain sort of speed and, and you know, agility, if you will, by, by leveraging automation, but a big thing is you can reduce risk. So leveraging APIs, leveraging automation, right, it allows you to reduce the number of fat fingerings and accidental uh, you know, typos on, on command line and things like that, and really reduces that sort of burden that you have to, you know, put out fires and then really focus your energy on the things that really matter and are really exciting to your organization. So uh, really that sort of reducing risk and as well as spending the time on the important things is what's really uh, uh, we're looking forward to helping more and more customers with through these certifications in this program. That makes a lot of sense. If it's something that needs to be done the same way every time. Why not automate it and save that human factor for ideas, innovation, and ways you can automate more things so that you can really innovate in other places and more ways. So thank you so much for joining us today. You are helping so many people. Would you like to thank anyone in particular who has helped you through this certification and specialization journey? Yeah, I'd really like to thank, you know, the, the part of the DevNet team, Lacey, Kareem, Chuck, really just helping us get organized, really put us in touch with a lot of the folks to really help make sure that we're successful in this program and really um, point us in the right direction in a lot of things. So again, thank you, really appreciate this and super excited on this uh, DevNet specialization, really looking forward to it. Congratulations on achieving the DevNet specialization for partners. Well done. Yep, thank you very much.